Hey, good evening. Alrighty, here I am again. Okay, yours truly, uh, while in the middle of a reloading uh, evolution, uh, reloading 300 blackouts, um, you know me. If people are trying to communicate with me, I can multitask. I can provide information. I can still do my primary function. In this case, I'm well, conducting reloads of uh, 300 blackouts from... Uh, bare brass, uh, putting in the necessary powder, resizing, reseeding, and uh, crimping. And guess what? I got a call from a buddy uh, with regards to uh, uh, his intent to actually venture into the reloading world. So, uh, he asked me, hey, uh, Marcus, what would be a good uh, place to start in reloading? And I said, well, dude, man, you got to worry about first what kind of caliber are you going to be reloading and you got to have to be dedicated to that caliber first well he said two two three five five six okay so i i sent him uh well, we kind of video chatted and showed him 300 blackout uh and the very first question he asked me was why are you so in interested in trail about 300 blackout well i told him hey look if you bear with me, I'm just going to create a video because, uh, yes, I am very enthusiastic in doing 300 blackout. And while I'm doing this now, it kind of dawned upon me that uh, in the span of 10 minutes, I am uh, able to create content. So I said, wait, and I'll just, <laughs> because it's going to take me an hour with him. Uh, and we're just going to talk about 300 blackout which i didn't really want to do so now i'm going to share with the world my uh, why am i favoring 300 blackout over what two two three five six ak rounds uh which would be seven six two by uh uh 39 uh, uh 308 rounds nato rounds which was seven six two by uh 51 and why i really prefer 300 blackout and it's, it's a disadvantage because uh, they're more expensive to shoot. It, it, because there are not a lot of people that uh, uh, does 300 blackout. So in this case, uh, why? All right, so let's start this. I have three reasons why, okay? One is it's actually easier for me. The standard is what? Your 223556 five, NATO round, which is... Uh, uh, let me show you one, one of them here, which is this baby right here, which is what our military uses, and around, that's 55 grain civilian, we use that round, right? See how tiny that is, okay? I am a champion of self-defense. Now imagine this, right? This is what I'm reloading right now. Look at that big boy. So 308 round basically, right? 308. This is your 556 five, NATO. See the difference? Ta da! 55 grain, 220 grain. I just started doing 220 grain because my standard has always been 150 grain. Okay? 150 grain right here. So the one. The smallest one right there, you could I could separate that sucker right there. It's your 55 grain, two two three five five six round. This is 150 grain, 300 blackout round, which is technically a 308 round. This is a 220 grain, uh, 300 blackout, 308 round. So, in fairness for self defense, why would I be using that guy right there, right? Let me show you that later on and compare it with a traditional 300 blackout round, okay? And that that's the, as simple as it is. If you are if you have the capability to reload any ammunition, any cartridges, you need to pick a particular round that suits your shooting style best and for what that particular round are you going to use it for? Now, if you go in long range hunting. I'm not a hunter, I don't, and I can't even see past uh, 20 feet, right? 
I'm not going to shoot uh, just 308s on a 20 inch barrel or some traditional rounds out there that are used for hunting. Okay, uh, I retired from the Navy. Uh, we never really were taught to go shoot past 50 yards. I mean, come on, if it reached the other side of the ship, that's about 40 feet. Good enough for the Navy, you know? So, that being said, uh, your training also has something to do with what you are doing or what you are shooting with. I started at 223556 because back home in the Philippines, uh, as a young teenager, we were being trained to fight communist guerrillas, uh, which were also using the same firearms, right? Yes, they were not using AKs. The commies back home and the Muslim uh, National Liberation Front were using uh, uh, stolen Armed Forces of the Philippines merchandise and firearms, which is uh, the old M16s, which we still used. So, yours truly was trained how to fire an M16. So, I'm sticking to an M16 platform, an M4 platform, because it is the same hardware, basically, with a little uh, uh, qualitative uh, tweaks after all these, what, 60 years of being in production. And that's, that's what I primarily use now. That being said, the 300 Blackout is also being shot out of an M4, M16 platform, an AR-15 platform. So there is no changes. The, the, how we've been using the, the firearm, in my case, since the 70s, uh, the ergonomics are the same. Uh, I think I, I should show you one of my firearms. And the relationship between a 223556 five, round, which would be this, and a 300 blackout round when it comes to the hardware that's being used to project it, to project that power, it's literally the same, right? Secondly, uh, let's move into this. If you notice, on this table are two cartridges. One of them is 300 blackout, the other one is 223556. Five, five, if I put it up close, you will notice that is literally the same brass cartridge, the same diameter. But the 300 blackout is neck down, is a neck down 223556 five, brass cartridge. And there are there are numerous ways on how you could remanufacture this. So if you are a reloader like me. And you have jugs of 223556 five, brass. All that needed to be done was cut it, trim it, clean it, neck it down with the right measurements. I know it's a long process. So you could create your own 300 blackout round. Now, let's go back to the, to the ammunition. Your traditional civilian a uh, bullet that is used for 223556 is this little guy i don't know how to yeah hey right, right here right here right there that little guy right there that 55 grain uh 223556 bullet this is a 308 round 220 grain now you know why I use this for self-defense instead of this guy right here. You don't need a lot of powder to project that bullet outside of a barrel of a gun. Of a gun. For when it hits, it's going to hurt. Okay? So for me, mass is better. Mass is better than speed for self-defense. I'm not a hunter. Okay? I am not a uh, long-distance shooter. I'm here to protect my family. Unfortunately, uh, uh, it, it's another topic of conversation when it comes to uh, self-defense. So if you can see these two rounds right there. There you go. They're basically the same brass cartridge. Brass uh, ammunition car cartridge. Except that the 300 blackout is cut and neck down. Same diameter, 
So that tells you that, the, again, if you have plenty of these rounds, you could generate and create your own 300 blackout. Alrighty. So the third reason why I've chosen 300 blackout for defensive purposes instead of other cartridges and other calibers of rounds is because, uh, let me show you here. I have two different rifles here. One of them fires 300 blackout, right? And the other one, uh, the FDE Sig Sauer uh, brand uh, I use to fire 300 blackout. This one I use, uh, my POF uh, firearm uses two, 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 three, five, five, six round. But I could swap the barrel of this with a 300 blackout barrel. Or vice versa. Now, you can't do it with a SIG because it's got a proprietary uh, uh, trademark. Uh, they only use their own barrels. But other AR-15 uh, firearms, other than SIGs and HNKs, you could swap the barrel without changing anything, right? Without changing your bolt carrier group. Because why? It's the same bottom, same primer, same diameter of a round. It'll fit. Now, the bullet's not going to project out of the barrel. Why? Because of a different, the bullet's different diameter. Okay? Different radius, different diameter. So the only thing that you will have to do is that if you have one rifle, is swap the barrel. Now you can shoot two different types of rounds. 2, 2, 3, 5, 5, 6. 2, 2, 3 caliber round, 5, 5, 6 millimeter, 5.56 millimeter, or 300 blackout, which is a 308 inch caliber round. Right, so those are the very reasons. I'm being practical. I'm not being gregarious or anything like that. I don't buy 50 firearms. Uh, I wish I did. I wish I could even afford it. Uh, but if you are into the business of self-defense, the very reason again and why I, I I went 300 blackout is I am capable of reloading it to as much as I want. Second, it has more mass. Who cares about speed? If that big bullet, that big bullet right there is capable of creating more damage than a little bullet, I'll take it. And lastly, with a barrel swap, you could have two different cartridges, two different bullets flying out of a firearm using one particular hardware. So hopefully I did answer that question to my friend, all right? So hopefully that you're listening and uh, some other people are listening. So... I gotta go back to reloading. You guys enjoy the evening. Post.